Uh, good morning. Thanks for being here today. Hey, we want to get everyone together to remind the community about an important date that's coming up July 13th. It's our uh, We Are Evansville celebration. Uh, it also is the, our next Clean Evansville. We're inviting folks to come out to do two things. One, to help us clean downtown Evansville. It's our monthly uh, Clean Evansville event. We moved it to the 13th this month because of the holiday weekend. And then uh, that's it's going to start at 8. It's going to go to from 8 till 9.30 in July. And then at 10 o'clock, we're going to gather on the riverfront for the culmination of the We Are Evansville YouTube video that is being produced. We're trying to get uh, uh, over 300 people to the riverfront to spell out Evansville, which will be the closing shot for the video that uh, is being produced that will be mounted on, on YouTube. We want people to come out in their We Are Evansville t-shirts. Uh, thousands have been sold. They are still on sale. Uh, and proceeds go to benefit the Evansville Parks Foundation. Um, and um, I guess the photo shoot will start at, at 10 o'clock straight up and uh, will last as long as it takes to spell out Evansville, so I'm not sure how long that will last. Uh, many of you know that uh, Pam Hyde is the uh, instructor from USI, whose uh, PR class started the project, and so Pam is here to join us. Uh, she's going to join us this morning with some more comments. Thank you. Um, we are, once again, July 13th, we want to get that word out. The other thing that we need to get people to do is to send us pictures of what they um, think Evansville represents. Maybe family pictures, maybe generations of family pictures, uh, pictures of you in Evansville t-shirts. Actually at the golf tournament this past weekend we had some folks walking around and we are Evansville t-shirts. Um, we want to incorporate those photos into uh, not the video and some photo displays. So please send us your pictures. You can send them to us on Facebook. You can send them to us at weareevansville at gmail.com um, and we will incorporate those photos into um, the video. We are trying to spell out Evansville. It will take approximately, we have somebody that's actually figured out how many people it takes per letter and the street will be closed. We're asking people to gather at the Four Freedoms and then we will um, sort of pull them apart away and to form those letters as um, they arrive. So wear bright colored shirts or um, here we are Evansville shirt and come down and join us. We do have something really exciting to talk about today though. Um, as a part of this We Are Evansville initiative, we've been approached by several businesses that say, how can we get involved? We're so proud to be a part of our community. They're, we're local businesses, and we want to be a part of this We Are Evansville. Um, in trying to brainstorm some ideas, we came up with, why don't we have, well, well the community can wear We Are Evansville t-shirts, but the businesses could have a We Are Evansville window decal. So uh, we went to the great folks at Signorama and said, how can do you guys want to get involved in this? And they came up with these awesome We Are Evansville window decals that folks can stop by, businesses can stop by and pick up. They put them in their windows to show their support. And it's just one more way that everybody can kind of get involved and show their community pride. And um, we have Walter and Casey from Sairama, and they're going to tell you a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. um, my grandfather started our company in 1957. and. Uh, he, he moved to Evansville to start this company. So we are Evansville. We've been around in the business community for over 55 years. Um, I moved away. I moved back to Evansville because Evansville is a fantastic place to raise a family, uh, to be involved in the business community. So I'm, I'm so proud of our city. I'm, I'm proud to be a part of, of this company and um, proud to support other businesses in in their desire to see Evansville uh, become better and better. So we are Evansville, and we're proud to, to help out other businesses show their support of Evansville. So how do people get those? OK, uh, just come to our location at 1300 North Royal Avenue. Uh, it's between Green River and Burkhart, just off of Gold Road. And pick one up, pick a couple up, put them on your window at your, uh, at your local business, and show off your support. And they're free. They are free. Best part. <laughs> this is, uh, I think, just a really exciting next step in, in a project that Jesse and his classmates at USI began. Jesse, you want to come up and say anything here? You're never at a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how this makes you feel about your project going to another level. Uh, I just want to make sure we thank Sayorama for all their support and helping us be able to create these uh, decals and stickers to go on the windows of the businesses. 
uh, you know, just started a small little idea of maybe we can start a Facebook page, Twitter page, and get some uh, encouragement from, from the city to come together with this. And now it's turned into a, a, a large Facebook page, a big video wanting to be produced, and uh, the community wanting to bring stickers together to show their support and uh, then be able to enact it as well. So uh, it's, it's getting larger and larger. It's incredible. And I just hope we can keep the momentum going for a, a very long while. So thank you. Okay. Any questions? <clears throat> Maybe the delay will increase attendance. Maybe hopefully, we, you know, come, up, come, up, come up to the podium. Yeah, sorry. We got rained out. That was the reason for the delay. So we we knew we couldn't do it around the fourth holiday. So we we're going with the thirteenth, and it works nicely with the Clean Evansville initiative. So um, we this is going to be a big deal. We have cameras that are going to be. We've got everything is donated. That's the nice thing about this whole effort. Um, the camp, the people that are doing the shoot, the photo, everyone has donated everything. These guys have donated their time, the shirts. No one's making a profit. The Parks Foundation, which the money goes back to the community, but all services, anything related to this, has people have just said, I want to be a part. I'm happy to be a part of this. How can I help? So we have we have a four camera shoot. We have photographers. There's going to be up on a cherry picker. We're on top of Old National Bank, on top of the shrine. So. We're going to get some great photos, and I think it's going to be exciting. And those we'll make available to the community, and um, it, it'll be a lot of fun. People will be proud to be a part of it. Shirts are still at CK Newsom? Yeah, shirts are still at CK Newsom while they last, and that's the problem. We're getting down to a, a low number, so we're talking to some other people and see if we can't get more of those made up pretty quickly and so people can still get them. But they're only $5, um, and like I said, the money goes back to the Parks Foundation. Meeting place for the cleanup as before down at the riverfront around Kids Mike Mike America. McGarry with Keith Evansville Beautiful is here. You can meeting place for the cleanup. Sure, uh, we'll have. You have to get up to the podium. Okay, Sorry. all right. <laughs> <laughs> nice T-shirt. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I like it very much. Uh, Mike McGarry with Keith Evansville Beautiful, and this the uh, 13th will be uh, our next Clean Evansville Initiative cleanup. Uh, like always, we'll have uh, six teams. We're going to be doing the downtown Evansville area. Uh, we'll make team assignments, we'll have team captains, and those who volunteer will be advised as to who you're assigned to, where you begin, where you end, all that sort of thing. Um, to register, keep, I'll keep them so beautiful, 425-4461, and we'd love to have you. It's going to be a great event. i just like to uh, reiterate a point Jesse made to thank uh, Walter and Casey and the good folks at, at sign around them. Um, this is a classic case, I think, of making lemonade out of lemons. The community has come together, started with uh, Jesse and his classmates at USI, and look what it's come to. Um, uh, the businesses, uh, students, people from all walks of life in the city have helped raise their hand and said, you know, we're not going to take this designation. We're going to show the, the community and the world that Evansville is a great place to live. So, uh, Walter and Casey, thank you. Jesse, thanks for you. And Pam, of course, all the great leadership at USI. So, I couldn't be more thrilled with everyone's involvement.